Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will give you introduction of optical fiber communication. So let's start the introduction of optical fiber communication. Firstly, what do you mean by communication? Communication means to exchange or transfer of information between one point to another point. That is called communication. So in fiber optics communication, is basically a method of transmitting information from one place to another place by sending pulses of light through an optical fiber. The light forms an electromagnetic carrier wave that is modulated to carry information. So the basic principle of communication is to send information over a long distance without distortion or attenuation so that the information is received by a receiver in original form. So in optical fiber communication, we can send information over a long distance without distortion. Optical fiber is mostly preferred over copper wire cable or electrical cable because it offers high bandwidth. Optical fiber is used for long distance communication. Optical fiber having more information transmission capability. It provides immunity to electromagnetic interference. It has high degree of signal security and lack of crosstalk and enhanced safety. These features make optical fiber more demanding in the market. Unlike copper wire cable or electrical cable based transmission, where the transmission entirely depend upon electrical signal passing through the cable. The fiber optical transmission involves transmission of signal in the form of light from one point to another point. Furthermore, a optical fiber communication network consists of transmitting and receiving circuitry, a light source and a detector device. Optical fiber is used by many telecommunication companies to transmit telephone signals, internet, communication and cable television transmission. For high speed data transmission, just like gigabit and beyond gigabits transmission of data, the fiber optical communication is ideal choice. This type of communication is used to transmit voice signal, video, telemetry, and data over long distance without distortion and attenuation and local area network or computer networks. A fiber optic communication system use light wave technology to transmit the data over a fiber by changing electronic signal into light. Researchers at Bell Laboratory have researched internet speed of over 100 petabit kilometer per second using fiber optical communication. So with the help of OFC optical fiber communication, high speed of data transmission can be achieved. So the bandwidth of optical fiber communication is between 50 terahertz to 176 terahertz. If bandwidth increasing, the information carrying capacity is also get increasing. Normally, optical fiber communication system use the near infrared spectral band with range of 770 nanometer to 1675 nanometer since longer wavelength band 1260 nanometer to 1675 nanometer offer amazing performance for long distance communication in this band the signal experience less attenuation and distortion so ITUT international telecommunication union fixed six spectral band that can be used for long distance communication. So what is that six spectral band? So I discuss optical spectral band. The ITU International Telecommunication Union has designed six spectral band for use in optical fiber communication. Normally optical fiber communication system uses the near infrared spectral band which is varies from 770 nanometer to 1675 nanometer. This is low absorption window, invisible to human eyes. ITU divide this band into six subbands. 
thin longer wavelength band 1260 nanometer to 1675 nanometer offer amazing performance over long distance communication they are as follows these are the optical spectral band which is experience less distortion less attenuation and signal transmit over a long distance so these bands are first band is o band next is e s c band l band and u band these all six bands come in the range of 1260 nanometer to 1675 nanometer all six bands are divided into three bands first two band that is o band and e band come in the category of upper band the third and fourth band that is s band and c band is called middle band and the lower two band that is l band and u band is called lower band so upper band consists of two band that is o band and e band o is stand for original band and e stands for extended band o band the wavelength range is 1260 nanometer to 1360 nanometer e band range is 1360 nanometer to 1460 nanometer these two bands have much low losses this reason having zero dispersion loss that is why these two bands are used for single mode fiber now the middle band middle band s band and c band s stand for short band and c stand for conventional band conventional band is also known as erbium window these middle band are most widely used in optical fiber communication so the wavelength range is 1460 nanometer to 1530 nanometer for s band and 1530 nanometer to 1565 nanometer for c band these band are most widely used in optical fiber communication these band having low attenuation losses low dispersion losses but it having some dispersion so dispersion compensation device is used if we use c band or s band now the lower band is l band and u band l band stands for long band and u band stands for ultra long band ultra long band is used beyond the response capability of edfa erbium doped fiber amplifier so these two bands l band wavelength range is 1565 nanometer to 1625 nanometer and ultra long band range is 1625 nanometer to 1675 nanometer these two bands having highest wavelength it means energy of the signal get decrease and gain is also get decreases in this band the description of the upper middle and lower band is given here O band and E band was the original very first band original reason also called upper band used for single mode fiber as i already told this band having much low losses it having zero dispersion loss so it is used for single mode fiber for long distance communication next middle window middle band consist of s band and c band s band stands for short wavelength band and c band stands for conventional window or erbium window this reason having low attenuation losses but having some dispersion losses so if dispersion losses is occur so dispersion compensation device is used if we use s band or c band for transmission C band is the wavelength reason used for conventional erbium doped fiber amplifier what is erbium doped fiber amplifier erbium doped fiber amplifier is basically a piece of fiber just work like a amplifier erbium is basically a transition metal whose atomic number is 60 in f block and its atomic weight is atomic weight is 167.25 g this type of erbium doped fiber amplifier is used for amplify the signal next is the lower band consist of l band and u band l band is longer wavelength band and u band ultra long wavelength band 
if the wavelength of the signal get increases the energy of the signal get decreases and gain is also get decreases so in this type of longer wavelength band the gain decreases u band is the reason beyond the response capability of edf erbium doped fiber amplifier at this wavelength signal get high attenuation so it is called attenuation band so this is just brief introduction the first lecture of optical fiber communication and in this video i will just give a brief introduction of optical fiber communication in my further coming videos i will give you detailed description of all the topics of optical fiber communication so please stay continue and watch my optical fiber communication series okay bye so guys thank you for watching this video for more videos please like subscribe and share my channel